Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. Uh, review of stage number five next on Bob Key TV from Perry Nice. Um, all right, everybody, stage number five, day number one in the yellow jersey for Julian Alaphilippe. Uh, not without a little bit of drama. Uh, crosswinds in the finale that have really plagued. <laughs> Uh, anybody but the absolutely strongest riders in Perry Nice. Also, um, Julian Alaphilippe on the receiving end of a split in the field, quickly joined by his quick step teammates that paced him back into the front. Uh, so it did not present a problem, but uh, it might indicate a little bit just how much Julian Alaphilippe left on the road in the individual time trial on yesterday's stage. Uh, stage number four, obviously a massive effort by Julian Alaphilippe. So if the next day he's a little bit tired, it's understandable. But no damage done to his lead. Uh, now it stands at 33 seconds, I believe, over uh, Tony Gallopan, whose teammate, by the way, Andre Greipel, won the sprint. Big headwind for the last 10 kilometers. So the lead outs uh, absolutely fell apart in the last kilometer of the race. So a real free-for-all. Um, and it was experience, I think, that won the day for Andre Greipel. Arno DeMar caught a little bit too far back to really be uh, competitive. Dylan Gronewegen, a young professional, current road champion of the Netherlands from the y Lotto Yumbo squad, going a little bit too early. It made about 300 meters from the line, Gronewegen made his jump, and Andre Greipel was able to follow Arno DeMar and come swinging around both of those riders for an emphatic win with about a bike length to spare. So not even close in the sprint today. Andre Greipel experience winning the day. And of course, one of the very fastest men on the planet. And he, he's putting together a very impressive career. It's been spectacular so far, but he just seems to be able to win so often. Really impressive ride um, by Andre Greipel to win the stage, and uh, that'll be a great boost of morale to the man in second place in the overall standings, uh, Tony Gallopan. But three incredibly tough days upcoming in Paris. Tomorrow, all mountains, all day. Bunch of Category 1s, Cat 2s, 1 Cat 3, 48 points up for grabs in the King of the Mountain competition. That's been led by Romain R.D. since the beginning, since stage number one. He's done a good job to hold on to the jersey, but he's going to have to find the breakaway early on tomorrow's stage to keep that jersey. But that would not be a surprise to me at all. Watch for him to be one of the early animators on the stage. Uh, I think it'll be more of a day where the GC contenders protect their position. Uh, descent, a little bit treacherous, but uh, not an uphill to the finish. A long descent and some flat roads before the finish line. So watch for Julian Alaphilippe to depend on Dan Martin and David, David De La Cruz, his teammates, uh, in the climbing portion of tomorrow's stage. Um, not a huge chance to gain time on the GC, but you never know if uh, some of the riders like Tony Gallopan, Ilnur Zakirin, Alberto Contador, Gorka Izaguirre go on the attack. Could put Alaphilippe in some trouble, but Saturday, is when the fireworks will happen for the GC on the final climb to the line. But the rest of Pyrenees is going to be absolutely gorgeous racing. Very competitive, very dynamic. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if the yellow jersey changes hands one more time before the rightful owner is crowned on Sunday in Nice. All right, that's it for stage number five. Three more to go with Pyrenees. It's been a great stage race so far and a thrilling sprint won by Greipel today. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Thumbs up, greatly appreciated if you like these. Um, and also, subscribe by clicking on my face. If you like some merchandise, it's quite quite sharp if you ask me. <laughs> Click on the t-shirts, and uh, thanks everybody so much for watching. Please comment, tell me, look at the GC, look at the stages to come, tell me who you think is going to win Perry Nice on Sunday. Thanks a lot, everybody.